Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to install and set up AdGuard Home on a Raspberry Pi. So AdGuard Home is a network-wide ad blocker and it utilizes DNS query filtering to accomplish that. So the most known service that provides this same functionality is Pihole. So this is pretty much a Pihole alternative and there are a few other options as well. Uh, but in this video, we're going to be looking at AdGuard Home in specific. If you're interested in knowing which uh, service is better, meaning AdGuard Home or Pihole, you're going to be hard pressed to find a right answer. This is really user specific, so check out both services and see which you'd prefer. But overall, I'm starting to like AdGuard Home more the more that I use it. So I initially intended on just switching back to Pihole because it was set up the way I wanted it to be set up, but I realized that it's kind of doing the exact same thing and it allows me to block full services pretty easily which is something that I have to utilize every now and then and it also makes other things like DNS over HTTPS a lot easier to set up if I'm ever interested in setting that up so I'm not going to say it's better or worse it's really up to you so before we get started I just want to mention I have written instructions in the description that include all of the commands that we have to run so before you get started running any of those commands, you need to ensure that you have uh, Raspberry Pi OS installed and you have to be able to SSH into your Raspberry Pi or if you're going to set it up to a monitor and keyboard, that's fine as well. If you aren't sure how to do that, I'll leave a pop up right now with a video that will show you how. After you're connected to your Raspberry Pi, you only have to run four commands. I was actually really surprised at how easy it is, uh, but you have to download the latest AdGuard Home package you have to extract it and then you just have to install it. There's no other configuration on the Raspberry Pi itself. So as soon as you do that, you have to know that you will be navigating to the admin portal of AdGuard Home using the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and port 3000. So this is the one time setup. After the setup process is done, you'll no longer use port 3000, but we need to use it right now. You should be brought to a get started page. So if you hit get started, you'll then be brought to the admin web interface and the DNS server um, interfaces that you have to configure. So select the drop down menu and it should be E0 for everybody, uh, but it's just going to show the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. So make sure that you select that IP address and at the bottom there, you're going to see set a static IP address. So for whatever reason, it shows this even if you have reserved a um, a static IP address in your DHCP server for your Raspberry Pi. So if you've done that, this step isn't necessary. If you haven't done that, you have to select set a static IP address here, and then it's going to set this IP address as static. And all that means is that you'll be navigating to your Raspberry Pi using this IP address always. It's reserved for this specific Raspberry Pi. You're then going to have to move on and you're going to create your username and password. And this is what you'll be using to authenticate with the AdGuard Home web interface. And then when you move on, it's going to show you how to configure your devices. So this is actually really nice. This is something that Pihole doesn't do, but they have very easy instructions that you can follow here that will show you how to configure each device to use this DNS server that you just set up. So the easiest way and what I normally do is I set up my router. And the reason I set it up this way is because I have all of my devices at my house. Anything that's connected to my router will automatically use this AdGuard Home as its DNS server. So that's kind of an easy way to blanket apply this to everything. But if you're not interested in doing that and you only want to do it on specific devices, you can follow the instructions for the specific operating system and then set it up that way. You can then select next and open dashboard. And as soon as you sign in, you'll be brought to the dashboard. So the only important thing to note, which I mentioned a little earlier, is that from this point forward, you configured port 80 as the admin web interface port. So you no longer have to use port 3000. So from this point forward, every time you want to get to the web interface of AdGuard Home, all you have to do is type in the IP address of that Raspberry Pi, and it'll bring you right there. So there's a ton of different settings in here, and this is not a setup video for AdGuard Home. Uh, and the reason I don't like to get into it is because these settings are really user specific. There's a bunch of different things that you can do in here. There's a bunch of things that certain people will want to do that others don't have any need for. So I'm not going to go through it. But this is where you're going to have to go through some of the settings. They're pretty self-explanatory, but go through them and configure AdGuard to be set up the way that you want it set up. 
this is a little different than pie hole because I'll be honest in saying that I changed very, very little, if anything, in this ad guard setup and everything just worked. Meaning that it was blocking ads that pie hole was blocking, but I was using a bunch of different block lists on pie hole that I am not using on ad guard home. So the more I thought about that, the more I realized that that is an indirect praise to ad guard home. While they are both the same as far as blocking capabilities go, I configured pie hole a lot. I got a bunch of different block lists and I'm not saying that ad guard home will block all of the same uh, domains that pie hole is blocking because it just doesn't make sense. I have a ton of different block lists, but the fact that I can go to a website and it's blocking pretty much everything that I see, that means it has to be blocking at least 95% of those ads. So as I use this more, I'm sure that I'll find different ads on different sites that aren't being blocked, that are being blocked with pie hole. But at the same time, it's important to note that I didn't do any configuration changes here as far as ad block lists go. So kind of an indirect praise right there for, uh, for ad guard home. But that wraps up the tutorial for today. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm happy to help out any way that I can. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.